Hello! Recently my friend Nick started a wonderful podcast about bad movies called Real Bad, and I have had the incredible privilege of being a frequent guest on this podcast. It is a ton of fun and you should definitely check it out, link is in the description. I have loved every episode of this podcast and being part of the recording process when I've gotten to do that, but a few weeks ago we recorded what was, I think, my favorite episode to be on. Part of why it is my favorite is because while we were ostensibly talking about Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, we were really talking about storytelling, which is just always my favorite. I guess in fairness this is actually true of every episode of Real Bad, but this was a conversation that I was particularly excited to have. We had a lot of good storytelling conversations around Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, but in particular I got to be the odd man out espousing my unpopular but deeply cherished opinion on adaptations. Okay, so let's get into this. <laughs> All right. This is hard for me to talk about because I am a Batman fan. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but Nicole has a really good perspective on this. I don't know we've, if it's good. We've come prepared to fight. We've come prepared to fight. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. And I'd be interested to see what you two think of this. Okay. In short, I have very little reference for the particulars of source material or the established canon when critiquing an adaptation. Philosophically, if not always emotionally, I am deeply disinterested in source material fidelity. Don't get me wrong, I love lots of things that have been adapted into another medium and I have definitely had an emotional reaction to things being different than what I expected. What I am saying is that the adaptation is a new thing, which by necessity must be changed in order to exist, and I'm much more interested in critiquing it on its own merits. There's this weird sort of deification of canon in conversations about adaptations that I find not only uninteresting, but also just not super useful. I totally understand the emotional experience of feeling like an adaptation has gotten something wrong, something that was important to you about the source material. When the first Hunger Games movie was released, I remember being bummed that Madge, the mayor's daughter was removed from the movies. Uh, I have a particular grudge against the X-Men movies, mostly because the 90s cartoons sassy as fuck version of Rogue holds such a dear piece of my heart and I just really hate emo Anna Paquin Rogue. But the thing is, those are gut feelings that say nothing whatsoever about the efficacy of those choices in telling those stories. While I do like the way that Madge is woven into the books and could have been useful in the movies, she's not necessary. Like, her absence didn't ruin those stories. And the sort of idea behind emo Rogue makes a lot of sense given what her power is. Uh, I don't think it works in the space of those movies because I don't think that it was given sufficient emotional weight and it, it was just set up in a really kind of cheap way. But at that point it becomes two separate critiques. Like, I don't think that this story works because of the way in which they told it is different than this character must be this way because that is the way that I want her to be. Again, I don't think that there is anything wrong with that initial gut reaction of like despair that something is different. But it is also always worth noting that the thing that you love is still there. And importantly, there are all sorts of ways in which this thing that you love uh, can inspire new things. Adaptations can be a way to see how somebody else saw a thing, or they can be ways to turn elements of a character or a story on their heads. When you're going from one medium to another, you're dealing with different benefits and constraints, and some change is necessary. Like, if you're not changing it in any way whatsoever, then what is the point? Like, it already exists. So much of the magic of stories is in the ways in which they allow us to expand our perspectives. It just feels like a failure of the imagination if your primary critique of a story or a piece of art is that someone else's vision of a thing was different than yours. So those are my thoughts. Uh, you can hear three brilliant and hilarious people disagree with me and also hear all of us agree that Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice was not an enjoyable film over on Real Bad. Please let me know in the comments how you feel about adaptations and source material fidelity and all that good shit. Okay, bye!